my friends. I I want to bring up something a little bit more serious today. It's gonna be a heavier note, but figure this month with my my goals, my plans, and doing what I'm doing to better myself. I need to talk about this. I need to let it off my chest. I need to get over it. I need to get through it. So, I used to be addicted to K2, synthetic marijuana. I didn't think it was bad at first. Shortly learned after, it's really not good for you. And, yeah, I almost, uh, I literally, between, it was a few months, I got jumps, and, you know, I was high in K2, I was smoking the shit all day, and, uh, I literally, uh, tried to commit suicide, or it was contemplating suicide, I should, I never actually had time for, there was, well, times I almost overdosed from it, I should be dead right now, there's times from smoking the shit, I should be dead right now. There's times where, yeah, I should be dead right now from smoking the shit because that's how much I smoked. I used to smoke like an ounce a day. And uh, pissed away a lot of money. And, uh, but it's been like five years. So I'm, uh, I'm learning to work through it even better. It's, uh, it's a shitty part of my life, man. Like, and I don't ever suggest anybody from fucking doing this shit. Like, like, if you can't smoke, don't smoke the fake shit. Just don't smoke. And, uh, yeah. There is four people in my life I need to thank for helping me get through. Because this was a point where I literally had almost nobody around me. And, like, they knew why, what I was going through. There was more enablers and everything. And even the girl I was dating at the time enabled me. Friends enabled me. And they took me there. Hey, you, you guys knew the shit was bad. Why? Why? You should have just. You should have been a dick and said you couldn't give me a ride. But um, hindsight, all of that. If it wasn't for my father, my sister, boyfriend. And one of my ex-girlfriends, I'm gonna keep her name out of this video just because it pisses her off when I talk about us. You know, somebody that, ooh, we didn't date that long, but she's been there for me. She's yelled at me, I've yelled back at her. We, we kinda know how to push each other's buttons, but this is how it is. I didn't really realize how much she cared about me until she thought I was going through something again. And she popped up like she did last time when I almost took my life. Like, I never, like, I've had, I had a lot of low points when I was high on K2. And I was, and the drug addiction is a fucking serious thing, man. I'm just so happy to see how far I've came, how far I've grown. Uh, you know, I might not be here right now talking to you guys. I might not be in the career I never thought I would be. That I actually kind of generally like. Like, I love growth, so working with plants is, is right up my alley, I guess. And I just wanted to let you guys know that you can come overcome those dark moments. Cause I'm not the only one that's hit rock bottom before. Like, and I know people that are in rock bottom right now. And after my year, I probably probably should have been living in rock bottom, but I, I haven't been. And it's because of people around me that care about me, keeping me strong helping me feel strong about talking about bits and pieces of my life that has always been hard for me to talk about and I don't I'm not proud of me being addicted to K2 I'm just you know it's 
it's <laughs> you look into it, spice is a bad drug, bro. And that's why it, it was legal and now illegal. And like many other things. But I just want everybody to know you can overcome things. And you need to really appreciate the people that kept you alive and going and positive. And you know, I'm ashamed of everything I did. And I was thinking about this the other day and I was just like, the only reason I, I push people away is because I'm, I wanna keep working on myself. Myself and growing and building myself is more important than anything in the whole goddamn wide world. Besides being there for my friends and family. But if I don't build myself to be better and do better, how am I supposed to be there for my friends and family? Like, obviously, I've gotten to that point where I've lost so many people and gotten so many people out of my life just because of my actions, and I'm so ashamed of it, and it absolutely sucks. And I want to overcome it. I want to get past it. I want to do better like I have been. And, you know, people have done worse, but the way that shit affected me after getting my ass jumped and sitting on the 10 by 10 for a month did not help me did not help me get further into getting over this shit and uh yeah it it was not good for my mental health and it, yeah I sounded fucking crazy and I still kind of carry on some stories from that part of my life just to mess with people, and, uh, you know, it's, it's a life-changing moment when you realize that, you know, what the fuck was I doing? What was going on in my head to be so depressed to do something like that? And, uh, you know, there's <laughs> general concern for my life back then was... You know, I was probably better locked up than I was being on the streets at the moment, just because I gave up. I gave up on everything I cared about. And this is why I don't want people to worry about me. Life's good, I'm getting better. Just because I am going, I have situations going on and it's been a shitty ass year, does not mean I personally am not together. I am positive, I'm optimistic, and I love the grind and I love to keep going keep fighting, keep doing my thing, because at the end of the day, what else is to do besides being the best version of you that you can be, and overcome any issue that you are facing, it's, you know, I look at it, I'm so happy that I overcame those issues, because there are certain things that I've done just in the past two years, and I'm so proud of, and where I've came, right? Granted, those shitty things that always happen in people's lives doesn't mean you can't have good during shitty times. So, I got out of this just because I'm tired. And, uh, it really, like, took me a lot to even make a video about just even though it was just a few minutes about my problems that I overcame. You can do anything you can because you are somebody. Don't forget that. Love friends. Peace.